When someone has a severe nut allergy, an allergic reaction occurs in which someone's immune system mistakes that something for a harmless substance. The immune system responds by overreacting to a specific something and creates antibodies that attack these proteins in that food. These antibodies are known as immunoglobulin E, or also known as IgE, and are responsible for fighting off the invading proteins. These IgE antibodies trigger the release of certain chemicals to the body in which one of them is histamine. Histamine can affect a person's respiratory system, gastrointestinal tract and skin, and the cardiovascular system. All of these can be very dangerous, but often only create minor reactions. Instead of the body sensing these proteins as something normal, they sense them as invaders, which is why the body overreacts to such an extent. When someone has a reaction to a nut, the skin is normally the first thing affected. Itchy red bumps, also known as hives, normally form and or swelling around the face. Allergic reactions can also cause stomach cramps, vomiting, or diarrhea, in addition to small cold-like symptoms such as a runny nose, watery eyes, sneezing, or coughing and wheezing. As symptoms become more serious, the cardiovascular system can be affected, which can cause an abnormal heart rate, causing the person to feel faint. Even worse than this, people can experience anaphylaxis reactions. This type of reaction is very sudden and is extremely dangerous and life-threatening. In addition to the more subtle symptoms, this reaction causes the person's throat and airways to swell, making it very difficult for them to breathe. This reaction also causes the person's blood pressure to drop tremendously, which can cause them to lose consciousness. Nut allergies are so dangerous mainly because of how sensitive the antibodies in the body are. The smallest traces in food caused by cross-contamination can seriously harm the body. In cookies and baked goods, candy, many ice creams, Asian and African cu cuisines, and in many sauces and oils, there is a high percentage of cross-contamination. Nut allergies are extremely sensitive because of how many different proteins nuts are made up of. Because of this high sensitivity, nut allergies seem to be progressive, showing that what used to be subtle reactions are now a huge scare. Because of how serious and popular nut allergies have become, the safest way to protect people from such a scare experience is to take extreme caution with everything you do. Most of the time, people never grow out of their nut allergies. However, over time, scientists have been working towards finding a test that can better diagnose severe nut allergies. Many people, especially children, are being diagnosed with nut allergies, and it can make life very difficult for some people. Some researchers say that they may have started a path to finding a vaccine for nut allergies. A study using E. coli bacteria has shown to protect the body against peanut allergies for up to three months, tested in mice. The E. coli bacteria produces proteins that are present in peanuts, which makes researchers think that they are injecting mild forms of nuts into the body, working as a vaccine does. From the research done, this vaccine does not seem to be something that is quickly progressing as a life-saving drug, but over time can sure turn into an epidemic. On the more realistic side, there is a more common way to test people for peanut allergies in a much more aggressive way than a regular prick test. A test known as the peanut challenge has been a rising test in the medical field over the past few years. 84 children who originally tested positive in the prick test were given the challenge. In the challenge, one third of the children were proven to actually not have an allergy to peanuts. In a room filled with medics and medical equipment, the patients were given small amounts of nuts and the doctors observed to see if there was any reaction to the nut. This test is also known as a food challenge and can be done for several different allergies, but has been most popular for nut allergies because of the large amounts of people that are diagnosed per year. The EpiPen Strike! <laughs> the first step taken when giving someone an EpiPen injection is to remove the top cap of the needle. Then you firmly jab the black tip into the outer thigh and wait until you hear a click. When you hear the click, you must wait and hold for 10 whole seconds. Finally, you must immediately seek medical attention. And now you know how to save a life!